Hey everybody, it's John Costigan and I have a great video here for management. It doesn't matter if you're sales management, operations, marketing, all the way up to CEO. I'm going to tell you a story. And the reason why I say CEO is I just spoke last week to seven CEOs. I'm part of a Vistage speaking group as well. And um, I spoke to seven CEOs and I've always said that the cool thing about talking to seven CEOs is these men and women, they're CEOs. And it's kind of neat when you get that audience, right? And you get them for three hours. So um, I'm going to tell you where they start looking at each other going, holy cow, this story is really hitting us in terms of how we're looking at our organization. Okay, so let me tell you the story. It's called the fish story. And what the fish story is this, and maybe you heard of not, stay with me because maybe I'll add a couple wrinkles to it. But the fish story is this. Your fish are your salespeople, right? Those are your salespeople and they're in the water. Well, the water, that's you. You control the water. You can control the stream. You can have the water meander, I'm sorry, you can have the stream meander and turn or go fast like a waterfall, slow down to a trickle. Um, it, the water could be dirty, the water can be clean. You control all of that, right? So as managers, you control this and then you have your fish. So you're going to control the fish too. So for an example, if you want to take plant food and put it right over here on this side of your stream, well then the plant food might be your comp plants. For example, if you had a comp plan that said that, you know, the more that they sold, once they got to a certain part, then they got their kickers and they went, you know, now 110% of gold, 120, 130, and then their commissions might go from 20, 30, whatever that may be, right? That's the plant food, right? You can also have spiffs, sales contests, and that will drive all the fish to that area where they know they're going to make the most money. I mean, it's real simple. The fish are going to go where the food are at, sales reps, I mean, for lack of a better term, they're kind of coin operated, right? You put the coin in, this you know what you're going to get, right? Well, same thing here. You put the food here, they're going to go there. You put the comp plan, you put the money here, they're going to go there, correct? So there's no secret there. Well, one of the challenges that I see with a lot of companies is management is muddying the waters. And let me give you an idea what muddying means. Um, the, 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 the people I was talking about here when she was telling me the story, she said, let me give you an idea what, what muddy means. We have everything in Salesforce here. And this is one of the larger software companies here in the Carolinas. She said, we have everything in Salesforce, all of it. But we apparently what's been happening is some of the sales reps have been taking the support people like support engineers or, sa or software engineers on the road with them. And then when they come back, sometimes they'll go, so uh, how'd the call go? And the engineer's going, I don't even know why I was there I, in case there was a question asked, but I hardly said anything. So management starts saying, we're spending a lot of money having somebody take somebody with them, which probably wasn't even needed. So they stepped in. I think operations might have stepped in and said, hey, we're going to make you fill out this form. And on this form, it was a manual form. So it was either Word, Doc, or Excel. But you had to fill out your name, the date, the company, the opportunity, um, why you want to bring this person. I mean, you had to fill all this stuff out. So meanwhile, it's taken all this time for a rep to do all this work just to bring someone with them on the road. And meanwhile, 90% of the whole opportunity and the stage where it's at, it's all in Salesforce. So they're virtually making them duplicate all the work again manually. So that would be called muddying the waters. You're making the reps do a lot of work that maybe you really don't have to do, but somebody got upset about something, so you now got to fill this out. And that's probably very common what happens, right? And not to say who's right or wrong here, but it is what it is, okay? So at the end of the day, uh, I bet you have a lot of things that, uh, that might have you muddying the waters. Well, I mentioned this earlier where I said I was speaking with these seven CEOs. Right when I mentioned the moment about muddying the waters, and I said, you know, if you have a lot of things that are going on that's not allowing your salespeople to truly sell, um, I say, what do they say? The average sales rep sells between six and a half to seven or, or eight hours a week, depending on what survey you research. Um, I said, you start doing stuff like this, you're going to start knocking those numbers down. It's going to be harder for them to make their numbers. Well, that's when these two people actually it was Rob and Bruce, their names, uh, they both kind of said something and I kept speaking and I kind of waited for an appropriate break. And then I said, Hey, I noticed you, you two guys, uh, you'd said something. What, what, what'd you mention? They go, boy, we're muddying our waters. And I said, really, how? And of course, when you're in a small intimate session like that with seven people and I got three hours with them, we start drilling down and they start voicing their opinions. The next thing you know, the whole room lit up with what they're all doing in their organizations as well. And it was amazing. I was like sitting there going, oh my gosh, I'm like seven for seven. They're all talking about challenges they have in their company. And it was just specifically of what they're probably making their reps do that might be muddying the waters. So the re And now, by the way, before I get done here, 
let me finish this off. It's not just fish. So let me let me make sure you know the rest of this. So if you do go tell this to your managers or all the way up to the CEO, maybe you send this video off to your CEO and go, hey, take a look at this. What are your thoughts? Okay. So you have fish, but you also have turtles. Now, turtles, that's another type of that's another type of salesperson, right? And that might be that salesperson that's maybe maybe kind of methodical. They take their time. Maybe it's a, a B minus C plus player, and you stick with them because they got the right attitude, they're loyal, and at the end of the day, they don't ruffle any feathers and they get the job done. And maybe they're they're not hitting their number every year, but they're pretty, they're pretty good, right? And we those are those are great. And then you have Barracuda. Those are the people who drive you crazy, right? The Barracudas. They're they're quick, they're fast, it's take no prisoners, they go they get the big deals, they bring in a ton of revenue, but they're a thorn in your side, they want to break the rules. The, I mean, every time when I said that to these CEOs, everybody's going, Boy, we got we got one of those. Everybody's got one or two of those people that they're probably just a headache, but they bring in the money and they're the number one, number two rep. So you go, you know, you almost sometimes look the other way, right? So you got barracudas in this water as well. Okay. And then also you have dogs. Well, dogs. Dogs can swim for a while. Then they got to get out. And how I look at dogs sometimes is people where they probably shouldn't be in sales. Maybe they should go somewhere else. I'm not saying, hey, go fire the dog. But, you know, I have a story of my next door neighbor worked for uh, um, the Ball Corporation in Muncie, Indiana years ago. And they were going to let go of the salesperson that they had uh, in the organization. They were about to fire him. And, and he liked the person so much. He said, let me talk to him. He had this great interview. They went out to lunch and they had an interview. And, and he really got to know him and he came back. He goes, I don't think you got to be in sales. I think you got to be over here. This is really your skill set. So they put him into customer service. And as he was telling me his story, he said, John, that was like eight years ago. He now is the vice president of all of it. He runs all of it and he's phenomenal at it. So sometimes it might not be about firing the rep. It's just about, hey, let's go find a place because we all know it's hard to find good people. If you find a good one, that, especially where I'm at, if you find a good one, don't ever let them go. Find a home for them somewhere because it's just hard to find good people, right? So at the end of the day, you now know the fish story, okay? Your fish are your sales reps. You can put the food where you want. You have the ability of making the stream any way you want. Try not to muddy it. And I can tell you, if you tell the story on and on, I mean, heck, you could probably tell this to your customers and they might say, boy, do we muddy the waters here. Depending on what product you sell, if it's worth the conversation, if you can connect that story to what you may or may not do for your client. Maybe you're doing consulting. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you're doing training, right? So at the end of the day, Hope you enjoyed the story. I hope it really helps your company and maybe give some people some clarity where you can start to say, hey, let's write down the top three or four things on a whiteboard of how we're muddying the waters for our salespeople. I think it's going to be a good story for you. Good selling. Take care. Hey, everybody. John Costigan here. The toughest part to any sale is getting in the door, right? Tell you what. Click on the URL below this video or go to costigantraining.com slash free week. Take the first step of solving this huge problem of getting in the door. It's five days. Five clips, less than five minutes. Click on the link. We'll see you in a few seconds.